Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through exponents and powers. Today we are going to see an interesting topic, laws of exponents. Yes, we have already seen this in previous grades. Let's recall one by one now. For any two non-zero integers a and b, and whole numbers m and n a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n a raised to m multiplied by b raised to m equals a multiplied by b whole raised to m a raised to m divided by b raised to m equals a by b whole raised to m a raised to m the whole raised to n equals a raised to mn and a raised to zero equals one. Do these laws also hold if the exponents are negative? Let's check it one by one. First, we consider the law a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n, where m and n are whole numbers. Let's try to do an example. Evaluate 5 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 5 raised to minus 4. We know that 5 raised to minus 2 equals 1 by 5 square, and 5 raised to minus 4 equals 1 by 5 raised to 4. By taking the product, we can write 5 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 5 raised to minus 4 equals 1 by 5 square multiplied by 1 by 5 raised to 4 equals 1 divided by 5 square multiplied by 5 raised to 4, which is equal to 1 divided by 5 raised to 2 plus 4 equals 1 by 5 raised to 6 equals 5 raised to minus 6. That is, 5 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 5 raised to minus 4 equals 5 raised to minus 6. We can see another example. Evaluate minus 3 whole raised to minus 1 multiplied by minus 3, whole raised to minus 6. Here also we can write minus 3 whole raised to minus 1 equals 1 divided by minus 3 whole raised to 1 minus 3 whole raised to minus 6 equals 1 divided by minus 3 whole raised to 6. Then, minus 3 whole raised to minus 1 multiplied by minus 3, whole raised to, minus 6, equals, 1 divided by, minus 3 whole raised to 1, multiplied by, 1 divided by, minus 3 whole raised to 6, equals, 1 divided by, minus 3 whole raised to 1, multiplied by, minus 3 whole raised to 6, equals, 1 divided by, minus 3 whole raised to, 1 plus 6 equals 1 divided by minus 3 whole raised to 7 equals minus 3 whole raised to minus 7 that is minus 3 whole raised to minus 1 multiplied by minus 3 whole raised to minus 6 equals minus 3 whole raised to minus 7 in these two examples we can see that 
the exponent in 5 raised to minus 6, which is the sum of the exponents minus 2 and minus 4. And the exponent in minus 3 whole raised to minus 7 is the sum of the exponents minus 1 and minus 6. That is, a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n is also applicable to the negative values of m and n. So we can say that for any non-zero integer a a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n where m and n are integers. Next we consider a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n where m and n are whole numbers. Now consider 4 raised to minus 3 divided by 4 raised to 8. We can write 4 raised to minus 3 equals 1 by 4 raised to 3. Therefore, 4 raised to minus 3 divided by 4 raised to 8 equals 1 by 4 raised to 3 divided by 4 raised to 8 equals 1 by 4 raised to 3 multiplied by 1 by 4 raised to 8 equals 1 divided by 4 raised to 3 multiplied by 4 raised to 8 equals 1 by 4 raised to 3 plus 8 equals 1 by 4 raised to 11 equals 4 raised to minus 11. That is, 4 raised to minus 3 divided by 4 raised to 8 equals 4 raised to minus 11. By observing the exponents we get minus 3 minus 8 equals minus 11. That is, a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n is applicable to the negative values of m and n. So, we can say that for any non-zero integer a a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n where m and n are integers. Let's have a quick recap. For any non-zero integer, a a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n. a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n, where m, n are integers. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Evaluate. First, minus 4 whole raised to 5, divided by minus 4 whole raised to 8. Second, 2 raised to minus 9, multiplied by 2 raised to 7. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.